Hello my dear friends, cordial greetings. Welcome to this your channel, Electronic Spot. This time we will use a 1602 LCD screen, a 10 kilo ohm linear potentiometer, and an Arduino Uno board. We will learn to program the Arduino board with the appropriate tools. To convert what we normally see on our screen like this. In this larger size, and thus improve the visualization of our letters on the screen. By moving the potentiometer, we can observe the voltage variations associated with this movement, however, if we move away from the screen, we may have difficulty clearly observing our variable. So, being able to illustrate what we currently see in this larger size, is a useful tool that allows us to have a better visual appreciation of our variables on the screen even when we are far away from it. But how do we achieve this? Well, let's see and welcome. We will use a 1602 LCD screen. With a size of 16 columns, by 2 rows. Organized from column 0 to column 15, and from row 0 to row 1. Which comes with a PCF8574T adapter soldered on the back, to handle I2C serial communications with other devices. This will allow us to considerably reduce the connections of the LCD screen, from a 16-pin interface, to a simple connection bus with only 4 cables. 2 for power and 2 for communications. We connect one end pin of the potentiometer to the GND pin of the Arduino board. We connect the central pin of the potentiometer to pin A0 of the board. We connect the other end pin of the potentiometer to the 5 volt pin of the board. We connect the I2C communication pins of the Arduino board, that is, SDA and SCL, with the SDA and SCL communication pins of the LCD screen. We connect the power pins of the Arduino board, with the power pins, 5V and GND, of the LCD screen. We connect the Arduino board to the computer. On the computer, we open the Arduino software. In a new sketch, we open the library manager, and in the search bar we type Liquid Crystal I2C, we locate the library of the creator Frank Bandender. We install the library. After installing it, we go to Sketch. Include library. And select the wire library. Then we go to Sketch again. Include library. We look for the library that we just installed, Liquid Crystal I2C, and we include it in Sketch. Then we create the object that allows us to use the LCD, using the Liquid Crystal class, assigning it a name, I will call it LCD, and placing three arguments inside the parentheses. The I2C address of the LCD screen. Remember that, since I2C is a bus communication standard, which allows multiple devices to connect to that data bus, each device must have an identifying number that differentiates it from the others. In the case of the LCD with the PCF8574 adapter, the factory address is hexadecimal 27. The number of columns on the screen, in this case 16, and the number of rows, 2 in this case. Within the void setup method, a method that is executed only once when the Arduino board starts up, we place the instructions to start the LCD, clear the screen, and turn on the backlight. Within the void loop method, a method that is executed cyclically or repetitively, we read the value of the potentiometer and store its result in the variable pot value. We scale this last value in a numerical range between 0.00, .00 and 5.00, .00, representing the voltage of the central pin of the potentiometer. We place the cursor or screen positioner at 0, 0, that is, column 0, row 0, we print the explicit text equal voltage to the LCD, and we print the voltage variable. Then we place a delay of 100 milliseconds between each print on the screen, to appreciate the changes in the voltage variable more slowly. We go to Tools, Board, and select our Arduino board, in my case the compatible Arduino Uno. Again in Tools, Port, and we select the port where the board is connected to our computer. We check the code to rule out any syntax errors, and then upload this program to the board. Here we can see on the screen the explicit text voltage equal, and the voltage variable associated with the movement of the potentiometer, which has a variation between 0 and 5 volts. Now, how do we illustrate this voltage variable in larger letters? Well, we open the library manager, and in the search bar we type big fonts I2C, 
locate the library and click install. Oh, at the bottom left I get a message indicating that it was not possible to install it, in short, it says that it cannot find the library files in the internet repository where it should be. If this is your case, don't worry, as we say in Colombia, we are not going to get stranded because of that little one. We go to our internet browser, for example, Google Chrome, and type big fonts I2C. It gives us several results in the search, however, let's go to the Arduino reference. Here we find all the description and documentation of the library, let's scroll down and in the releases section, download the most recent file. We look at where our file was stored on our computer. Then from our Arduino software, we close the library manager, and we go to sketch. Include library. Include zip library. We locate the library file, and we open it. We can see a message at the bottom right indicating that the library was installed correctly. Once installed, we go to sketch. Include library. And look for the big fonts 01 I2C library, click to include it in our sketch. Once this library is included, let's declare the object that will allow us to write large fonts on the screen, placing the big fonts 01 I2C class, assigning it a name, in this case I will call it big, and inside the parentheses we place the LCD object that we had declared in the previous line of code. If you can notice, we wrapped the LCD object, inside the big object, because of this we can use both objects inside our code, without interfering with each other, writing normal or small characters with the LCD object, and large characters with the big object. Inside the void setup method, we initialize the big object with the begin method. And inside the loop method, I will cut the explicit text only to the word volt, so that I have more screen space to show the voltage variable in large numbers. Yes, we write the big object, and then one point, the Arduino development environment shows me four methods available for this object, the begin method to initialize the object, the clear method to delete a character from the LCD, the write char method, to illustrate characters, one by one, and the write int method to illustrate numbers in integer format. As we can see, the method to illustrate large numbers on the screen is called writeInt, observing its structure, we realize that it is a method to illustrate integers only. And our voltage variable is in a floating numeric format. For example, if we see it on the screen we see that it has, an integer part before the point, and a decimal part after the point. So, a solution to this would be, separate the integer part of the number into a variable. Separate the decimal part of the number, multiply it by 100, and then convert it to an integer by storing it in another different variable. Then print these two variables by printing a dot character in the middle of the two. So, we take out the integer part of the voltage variable and store it in a variable called voltage integer part. We extract the decimal part by subtracting the integer part from the whole number, and store it in a variable called decimal part voltage. We multiply this decimal part by 100, take out the integer part and store it in a new variable called decimal part 100. So here we already have the two variables that interest us in integer numerical format. Now we print the first variable called voltage integer part, with the write int method, which has five arguments separated by commas inside the parentheses. The first argument is the row of the screen from which the writing will be made, in this case row 0. The second argument is the column of the screen from which the writing will be performed, in this case column 4. The third argument is the name of the variable to write. The fourth argument is the number of characters I want to write from this variable, in this case only one. And the fifth argument is a true value, to make the writing effective. Then we use the write char method to write the period character, indicating the first argument the row from which the writing begins, row 0 in this case, then the column in this case 7, since the previous numerical character occupies 3 spaces or 3 columns, and finally placing the character I want to write, the period in this case. Now we write the numerical character of the variable decimal part 100, indicating row 0, column 10, the name of the variable, the number of characters that I want to write for said variable, in this case 2, and the value true. We upload this code to the Arduino board, and now we can see our voltage variable in large numbers, with three columns wide, and two rows high, for each of the characters. 
To try writing large words, we go inside the void setup method, we adjust the screen cursor in column 0 and row 0, and with the LCD object, we print the word hello, this is the way we would do it with normal letters. Let's set a delay of 2 seconds, and with the big object, let's write the first letter of the word, and thus we write all the letters of the word, one by one, increasing the start column by 3, since each letter has a width of 3 positions or 3 columns. We set a delay of 2 seconds, and clear the screen. We load the program to the board, and that's it. We have the word in small letters. The word in big letters. And our numerical voltage variable in large letters. A special greeting friends, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to be aware of new content.